Hello guys and girls and welcome to a uh, review of the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 game on iPhone. The reason you can't see me is because I've set the camera up so you guys can see the phone and so I'm going to play the game and talk a bit about it. Firstly, the first thing I want to say is the iPhone I have is the very first iPhone. I call it the POS model, the piece of shit model. Uh, if, I, yeah, if I show you guys here, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you can see that it's the, the, it's the iPhone 8 gig. It's the very first iPhone. And, um, you know, I get a lot of problems with this phone freezing and crashing and that. And, you know, people always say, oh, have you updated to the latest version and all this bullshit? Of course I've done all that, you know. It just, it's a piece of shit hardware, you know, and a lot of these issues have been fixed in, um, you know, later releases of the iPhone, like, uh, especially the latest one is very, very stable. So, uh, the reason I'm saying this is I've had a few times where the game's just crashed on me, you know, and if it does it while I'm doing this video, I don't, I want you guys to know, um, because other people have played it and contacted me and told me that the game does not crash for them. So it's most likely something to do with my phone or the fact that it's the very first iPhone. So, okay, now that i got that disclaimer out the way, I thought we'd uh, take a look uh, at the, the game. Uh, there's like my games page. Uh, you can see there's uh, Ultimate MK3 there, which I'm going to launch now. So, yeah. Comes up with the Warner Brothers Games logo. And then the EA. And then, yeah, it starts to load. I don't know why it has to load, because, like, uh, the phone's solid state. Like, not many games really load. So, I don't know, that's sort of a bit weird. Straight away, yeah, you can hear. You know, I've got the volume turned right up. Yeah, got the volume right up. The sound is very crisp, very nice. Um, very high quality samples using stereo sound on the speakers. Uh, now I thought we'd just explore a few of the options we got here. We go options. Uh, we got settings. Uh, reset all data. Mute. You can change the music uh, and the sound effects. You know the the, the volume of it. Button settings. Uh, there's actually a really cool feature here where you can set where the layouts are. So if you go layout preset edit. I haven't even done this yet. You can choose where you want things to go, you know. Um, so you can choose where the buttons are on the screen. And you can set how bright or how opaque they are, which is really cool. Um, there's also an arcade style layout here. See, run, block, high punch, low punch, block, low kick. Or there's uh, a run, block, punch, kick special which is like sort of the newbie way to play UMK3. Um, but I've been playing with this because it's the default uh, setting. But uh, I'm going to switch it across because I couldn't do any fatalities. Maybe this is why. So I'm going to go back on that one. Hopefully I don't suck too bad. Um, manage special features. Okay, what's this? Upload. Yeah, here's your achievement. When you get an achievement, it comes up or upload. Some basic settings there. Uh, okay. Now we can go to play now. Uh, helping about, or oh, let's check extras actually. Extras. So there's leaderboards, achievement stats, bios, lost treasures of Shah Khan. I haven't clocked the game yet. So yeah, that's why no treasures found. Uh, bios. I think you only get bios when you clock the game. Oh no, I got some there. Sonia. I haven't even been on these yet, actually. You know what? They've actually really nicely touched up the renders from UMK. They're actually really nicely smoothed out. Uh, Nightwolf. Sub-Zero. Striker. Everyone's favorite. Striker to Striker. <laughs> Shiva. And titties, man. <laughs> uh, Liu Kang. This Katana. Yeah, baby. 
is Jade, one of the secret characters. Scorpion. Sonya, again. No way back. It's oh, interesting. Alright, so I exit that. Ermac had a bio in MK Trilogy, but he didn't really have a bio in Ultimate MK3. I guess that's why. Um, stats. Let's see how shit my stats are. I know they're going to be horrible. <laughs> Best win streak three in a row. All wins six. Losses for human wins for. Yeah. Yeah, I, I suck at this. I'll, I'll straight out admit it. It's a mobile game. I'm not very good with these. Even playing uh, playing MK2 yesterday with Chris on PlayStation 3, and uh, I suck with the PlayStation 3 controller, man. <laughs> like, I still got a few wins in there. Like, I was, I was able to play decently, but fuck on an arcade, man. Watch out, you know? <laughs> so, uh, achievements. Let's see. I got uppercut opponent through roof. Done. So, here's a whole lot of achievements. Master killer. Complete grandmaster difficulty without losing a round. Complete all difficulty levels. Just like perfection, get one flawless victory against the CPU. I haven't done that yet. Absolutely flawless, get five flawless victories in a row. Mercy, mercy, mercy me. Beat an opponent without having a mercy performed on you. After having a mercy performed on you. Ah, right, okay, right. There's a lot. Uh, perform a five plus hit combo. Win 10 multiplayer matches. Win 100 multiplayer matches, perform a verbality, perform an animality, uh, perform a friendship, perform a fatality, get a 5 match win streak using Striker and CPU, defeat Motaro, you suck lose to Shao Kahn 3 times in a row, no you suck defeat Shao Kahn, uh, get a 100% unlock rating, Xerox Sub-Zero, 100 times, huh? Copycat. Ah, oh, Shang Tsung Morph. Um, outwit, outplay, outlast, score 20 or higher in survival mode. That's everything. There's all the achievements. So, alright, well, I'm going to jump into the game now. When you go to play, you've got the option of arcade, local multiplayer, survival, and share carnage. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys multiplayer for now. A bit tricky. I need a bit more room. Alright, so I'm in a game. I might start a new game. Fuck it. Alright, so there's my select screen. I'm going to use Luke Kane because I want to want to try and get his fatality out. Uh, as you can see, they've added some nice, really nice visual effects to the game, which I think is pretty cool. I'm just going to choose Novice for now. Just because I suck at this anyway, so I need it as easy as possible. <laughs> Um, yeah, they've added that like 3D portal in the background, which I think is sort of cool. Gives you some codes. Like this. Player 2 half power. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. If it crashes, it usually does it here. Oh my god, it did it. I can't believe it. This is, this is the problem I got. It does it all the time. <sighs> I don't know why. It's always at that spot. It's always after the select screen. I reckon it's a bug with the first iPhone. <sighs> I'm going to wait for it to load again. This is what's annoying. That's why I haven't been playing it much, because it's been crashing a lot. And every time I've got to keep waiting for it to load and load and keep loading. It lets me continue. It remembers where I was after crashing. Thanks. <laughs>
Okay, we're into the game. Sweet. As you can see, the graphics are really nice, nicely rendered. Oh, what was that shit? Get fucked. My firewall. Took long enough. Ah, oh, this is my fourth feeling. Ah, oh, fatality! Should get an achievement for that, baby. My first fatality. You guys saw it first. How cool am I? I rule. Where's my achievement? I didn't see shit. Why not? Oh, you slut! I want my achievement. Couldn't let me have one for as your whole. Oh, you slut again! Fucking finish you, bitch. Burn, you slut! Now I can do fatalities like a champ. That fatality is quite easy actually. Luke Kang's disappearing act. Uh, forward, forward, down, down, low kick. The way I remember is, uh, A, it's quite easy to remember. Forward, forward, down, down. And the way sometimes I get things backwards, like I might think down, down, forward, forward. But the, the trick for me to remember that is it ends with down, 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 down for disappear. So that way I can never forget that fatality. Play on the bridge. My mom told me not to play on bridges. Oh, look at that. It's cool. Love the graphics. Isn't it cool that I put extra work into that? God damn it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, fucking got me. I notice it's just hard to keep doing a trip or something. Fuck you, Anak, you shithead. Uh, can't remember his stage fatality. Shit, what is it? Something with block. Back, back, forward, forward, block or something. Hmm. I love making fart noises on the couch. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, that was a deep one. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the game is a lot of fun. Um, it cost me t uh, $9 Australian. Uh, I believe it's something like $6 US. So, the game's really cheap. Like, seriously, you're paying under 10 bucks. And you're getting something they put a lot of work into making the graphics nice, the sounds good. Um, <laughs> fuck you, you slut! Why isn't it doing the. Oh my god, we're freezing. No. 
All I want is one fucking flawless. Is that too much to ask for? You slut! Fuck! Bitch. Took my force away from me. I'm just trying to get it cheaply so I can get the achievement out the way. <laughs> Fucking hate achievements. Because, like, you know, like, you know they're there and you're like, oh, I've got to do that achievement, you know. I just don't want to worry about it. I just want to get it done and that's it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, what I'll do now is I'll quit the game and we'll take a look at Sher Carnage. Uh, yeah. Give me a second, guys. Oh, wait, let me show you the church level. It's badass. Looks awesome. Damn it. Hit me again. We can get a really easy combo. What was it? Hop and hop and swipe punch. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that was an ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Hop and hop and swipe punch. That's it. Ha! Did it. I forgot combo. Nice. Fucking computer, fuck you. It actually says danger now when you're in danger. Which never was never on arcade. Oh you rat! Oh, bullshit, I lost. Fuck you. What's this shit? I reckon I can get that other achievement. Oh, you dog, it stiffed me again. Fuck you. There's an achievement. Win after mercy. Survive. I almost had it. Quite annoying. Ugh, this game. Ah, uh, like, as fun as it is, like, just for fun, playing this on, on, on the phone, it actually looks really good and the sound's awesome, but... I'm sorry, when I play Ultimate MK3, I want to play it on Arcade, honestly. Uh, I'm not going to continue. I'll hit Game Over. We'll check out the other mode, uh, Shadow Carnage. Scorpion. I'll use my buddy Scorpion for this one. I don't know if you guys saw, I posted some uh, high resolution pictures of this uh, up on um, Total Mortal Kombat. Can I have the harpoon please? Please? Thank you. Jeez, it's not that hard, but I got a low punch. But I think the idea is just to survive or hit uh, kind of as much with a... Uh, within the amount of time. Yeah. Ha, bitch, got the last hit in. <laughs> so that's uh, Carnage mode. <laughs> a lot of fun. It's just uh, pretty much I uh, beat the shit out of Shah Khan for or what was it, 80 seconds or something, and uh, get the highest score possible. It's a lot of fun, so there's no energy involved in it. It's just uh, 
you get that amount of time. I got 137,800 points. All right. I don't know if that's any good or not. I think I was playing like shit. It's sort of hard. I'm sort of twisted here. Um, holding the phone. So I can't even play, play it sort of properly. Because I'm holding it, trying to keep it in line with the camera. Uh, what else is there? Let's have a look. Survival mode? I haven't even tried this yet. Uh, I'll use Nightwolf. My buddy Nightwolf. You can also play this on iPad if you've got an iPad. So, it'd actually look really nice on an iPad, I reckon. My cousin's got one. Uh, one day I might actually get it happening on there. You rat. Hey. Ha ha ha. And I don't survive. <laughs> that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> Didn't even win one round. I suck. <sighs> oh, I hurt. <laughs> it hurts. I'm all twisted. You should see this. If you could see me, you see how uncomfortable I'm sitting. Um, right. Let's hit play again. Is there anything else? Oh, there's multiplayer. Let's see if anyone's online. Lol. Searching for players. Searching for players. I bet it finds no one. Come on. You can do it, phone. Don't make me get the 5110 back out. <laughs> it would find multiplayers. Looks like I got no luck today. No players. Sorry guys, can't show you multiplayer. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Helping about. If we go about, what's this? Tells us the copyrights and that. Uh, what's EULA? What's that? What's this shit? Loading some sort of browser or something. Uh, electronic Arts, Application to End User Agreement, whatever. Privacy Policy, same shit. Off. Terms of Service, probably the same shit. Yeah. Usage Sharing. Disable Usage Sharing. Tells you a bit about the game. Features. Oh, we did that already. Yeah, so honestly, uh, my final opinion on this is that the graph, the graphics are really nice. They've been, you know, smoothed out, and there's a few little features have been added to make the uh, make the game look really nice and crispy on the phone. Probably looks even better on the iPad. Um, the sound is really nice. It's the original MK3 music and sound effects. Uh, the quality is really nice. It hasn't been compressed down or anything. So you know, music. Sound and music and graphics, I would say a 10, honestly. Uh, it's just, you know, playing this sort of game on the phone is tricky. So it's hard for me to say, you know, this is an awesome port and that. But um, I think for $9, honestly, they did well. So I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, you know, if you got if you mastered this, this game, you'd probably have a lot of fun uh, with all the other modes. And I think for, for the extra modes, you get Shower Carnage and... Uh, survival and that it does make it worth having so yeah uh, that's pretty much it for my review of this one um one other thing i'll say uh is i will be giving away a few of these on youtube um yeah ea have actually given me along with the uh all the uh screenshots and everything they gave me they've actually given me uh, some codes to give away um, 
which will give the person a free copy of this game. So I'm probably going to give away, I'm still working out the details, but I'll probably give two away on YouTube, and I'll probably give two away on my website, and maybe one on Twitter. So uh, stay tuned for details. Uh, obviously this competition only applies to people with an iPhone or an iPad, so uh, upon winning you have to give me your email address that the iPad or iPhone is tethered to via iTunes. So yeah, I'll have some more details about that soon, and thanks for watching another TMK review. See you guys next time.